Hey, welcome to another edition of the Seattle Mariners Organizational Report Year in Review for 2022. Historical year. We made the playoffs for the first time in 21 years now. And uh, today is going to be a great day game over there in Toronto. We got Luis Castillo going on the mound against Alec Manoa. And we beat Manoa earlier this year with Robbie Ray on the mound in Seattle there with the Tight game, man. It went to the end there. But today we got Luis Castillo, who's 4-2 at the 317 ERA for the Mariners. And he's beat Toronto earlier in the, the year this year. Okay, other notable things. Today's starting lineup for the Mariners is batting first, Julio Rodriguez in center. Second, Ty France in first. Batting third, Gino Suarez at third base. Cleanup is Cal Raleigh at catcher. Batting fifth, Mitch Hanniger. DH is Carlos Santana. Left field is Jarrett Kelnick. Batting eighth is Adam Frazier at second base. And batting ninth, J.P. Crawford at shortstop today. Okay, other notable things on this matchup today are the best hitters for Toronto in this lineup against Castillo is Tapia is seven for 11 with the home run. Uh, batting 636 against Castillo. But for the Mariners, notable hitters are Carlos Santana's 2 for 7 with the home run and 2 RBIs against Manoa. So hopefully they can continue that success. Also, J.P. Crawford's batting 500 against Manoa. Okay, in today's uh, playoff game, man, I, I got my money on the Mariners today and to win the series. Um, looking at the the playoff rosters for the wild card, sort of shocked that they left Chris Flexen and Marco Gonzalez off the roster. We've only got one left-handed pitcher in the Mariners lineup, and that's Robbie Ray, a starter who's starting the second game. And I checked out the stats for the, the Blue Jays. They bat 266 against right-handed pitchers and 255 against left. So obviously they're not as good against left-handed pitchers. So in my opinion, I would have definitely had Marco or at least one other lefty on the roster. But hey, it was nice to see at the end of the season that uh, Abraham Toro and uh, Luis Torrens picked it up and started uh, started a little bit on fire. You know, Torrens made history getting a win in the 10th inning for the first Mariner position player to get a win just the other day and then he even hit a home run also so that was really nice and also to see Toro pick it up too at the end of the season also so we're looking forward to the Mariners this year going all the way to the World Series for their first World Series I got my bet on that it was 2500 to none uh, at the start of the season I put 10 bucks on it if I win I get 260 dollars also bet on the Seahawks this week. We got five and a half points against New Orleans in New Orleans. So, yep, I thought that was a good bet also. And also you can check me out at the Coach Mike Jones Show podcast every week, Saturday on Blog Talk Radio. I'm also the co-host of the number one uh, Blog Talk Radio wrestling show, Turnbuckle Turmoil with the one and only Sign Guy every Friday at 3 p.m. PM Pacific and every Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific. Also, you can check me out at the Real School Army and the NGW Green Room for hundreds of interviews from wrestlers and celebrities all over the world. And you know, Scott, we we hope hope that you guys can do it. We're uh, pulling for you. Been a fan since day one, and go Mariners!